So, in this guide, I'll be talking about the demonology warlock changes. This is like one of the biggest classes which has been changed in BFA, and it's actually one of the funnest classes I've played in the alpha, and it's actually one of the most, like, the biggest DPS I've seen. So, I'll go through the talents, and then I'll show the single target and the AoE build. So, the build I'm going for to overview this for single target is just getting so many pets out and that will increase my damage up, which I'll explain at the end. So for the new spells we've got, you've got um, Implosion, which means demonic forces suck all of your wild imps towards the target. So this just causes them just to do big damage, so you just destroy all your imps, which you don't really want to be doing that a lot because my build uses the more pets I have out, the more the more damage I do, which is kind of the funnest, funnest build to go with. So yeah, so when I ever use, whenever you use a Hand of Gold down, it will summon a Wild Imp, but with the Riders, it gives it an increased chance. So the I just want the most pets out I can possible. So that's why I've got Demonic Calling as well, because it gives me a higher chance of um, getting more Dread Stalkers and makes it have no cast time or Soul Shards, which is just good in general. For the next one, it's just really down to you what you want. Some people take Burning Rush because Warlocks have like no speed apart from their gates. Or dark pack just for the um, for the HP. So for the next one, it's it's down to you, but I always think Valfiend because it does so much damage and it's an extra it's an extra pet which does damage. Um, for your next spell, it's down to you what you want. Demonic Circle is pretty good in most situations, but Dark Fury you want the stun. So for your next one, this is. I wouldn't. I don't like Grimmer of Service because it's just not that interesting. Whereas Inner Demons is, I passively summon a Wild Imp, so that means I'm just getting way more damage off. Soul Conduit, I think, might be good, but it's still RNG dependent. But on the last talents, you want to be going Never Portal because it increases the amount of pets you're having out, so it just makes your DPS overall do more. Because the main new DPS spell is Summon, summon Demonic Tyrant which increases the damage of all your other demons by 15% and casts Shadowbot Volley to all your enemies. So, I'll show you an example of the single target. So we'll start off with Summon Felguard. So you want to start off the fight with, you don't want to bring out the Tyrant first, just straight off, because you aren't going to have that many pets up. So open up with Dreadstalkers and just spam Shadowbolt. Also, they bring back Demon Bolt, but you don't want to be using this unless... Um, you get a, a proc, which gives it makes it instant. So you just want to be using your Shadow Bolts, using Hand of Gul'dan. Use up, that's, so that's the um, Demonic Core, which makes it instant and costs no mana. So now I'm going to use my Never Portal as well, so I'm bringing out Demons from the Never. Put down Hand of Gul'dan so I have more pets. So now I've got loads of pets up, I'm just going to keep spamming Shadow Bolt and get down a Hand of Gul'dan. I'm also going to use Vile Fiend when I've got... Um, when I've got time, so summon Valfi now, use the Hand of Gul'dan, and use up my Stalkers, and now I'm going to use Tyrant, because I've got so many pets up, that they're going to do so much damage, I'll use my Hand of Gul'dan again, because get more pets up, and just keep using Hand of Gul'dan, and and Shadow Bolt, and just try and wait till you get Demonic um, Core, and that makes your Demon Bolt instant, so you just want to keep calling your Dread Stalkers, see I've got so many Imps out now, and my Demonic Tyrant's up soon in two minutes. So when you've got this many pets up, you kind of just want to explode them. Because you have so many imps up, that it's useless to hold them without a Demonic Tyrant. So now I'm just going to... I've got three stacks of um, Demonic Core. So I just want literally want to be spamming that. Use up my Stalkers. Use my Hand of Gul'dan. Use my Implosion. And just keep going. Summon up my Vile Fiend. Use my Hand of Gul'dan. So I've just got loads of pets coming up, and I'm just smashing into the boss. And you see that that little flash was the demonic core I got. So use Hand of Gul'dan, use Stalkers, Hand of Gul'dan again because it didn't use it for my soul shards, and just keep smashing into the boss. As you can see, like it's just so good, it's so fun. You have so many pets. But yeah, now I'll show you the AOE rotation for demonology. Let's just move out, dismiss that pet because he's going to be in combat. Use my talent zone. So the main spell you want, if you're going to go AoE, is Bowl Scourge Bombers. 
this is just another set of pets, so it's just, it's OP. It's, it's kind of like a barrage on Mountain or Rogue, where you just put, cool it down, and the, the bats will just come in and just dump it on the, on the target. Um, do you want to call them again? It's just, you get more, you get more Dreadstalkers, which is just good all around. And, um, that one don't really change for AoE. Um, for this one, I think, it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter what you take. But maybe Valfiend, because Never Portal, you're going to keep Never Portal, because you want to do more damage for how many pets you've got out. So I think Valfiend's the better one. Um, Inner Demons, I think you can bring out Soul Conduit. Because if you get the extra Soul Shard, you can just spam more hand of cooldowns. And yeah, Never Portal stays the same. <clears throat> and you don't really ever want to use Demonic con Consumption, because you're just w losing all your pets. So let's show the AoE rotation. So I'm going to start off with a summon imp. So I'm going to start this off with a um, with a vile fiend, and then use hand of Gul'dan, and then just start off the fight and start using hand of Gul'dan's, and then just use up some shadow bolts and get. See now I've got an instant dread stalker, so I can use that. And soon I'm going to show off the bile scourge bombers. So I'm just going to get loads of pets out first. Just going to get a few pets out. I'm going to use my Never Portal soon, just so that's up. Just get a few more imps up. So I'll use the Never Portal now. Use the uh, Demonic Cores and use my Bile Scourge Bombers now and my Demonic Tyrant because I'm going to have so many pets up now. And use my Death Stalkers. Use Hand of Gul'dan so I'll get more imps up. And just spam them Shadow Bolts in and keep getting up. Keep refreshing that Hand of Gul'dan to get more imps down. And then I'm going to use my Summon Soul. Biofiend, so I have more pets, and just keep spamming in. Hand of Gul'dan, make sure you use Hand of Gul'dan, and then your Demonic Cores. Use up my Dreadstalkers, use up Hand of Gul'dan. You see, I'm just doing so much DPS. And it's just crazy. But yeah, you want to be using Implosion all the time um, for AoE, because it's just going to explode the imps and deal damage to all of them. But Barscourge Bombers has a really short cooldown, so you're going to do like so much DPS, and you can just spam your Molten Cores into the the ads, but yeah, this is like one of the funnest specs they've changed, and I might even play it in the expansion, but anyway, thanks for watching.